Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing our Valentine's cookie tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss a few differences between the sets that I made. I went ahead and started my decorating. Through the years, I have found that you can create dimension in cookies by letting a few parts crust before applying more icing. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Since my cone has three parts marked, I'm going to outline the bottom part and the very top. I didn't let my outline crust because I use very thick royal icing, but if you are using thinner icing, I recommend letting your outline crust for at least five minutes. I'm using a scribe to smooth out my icing, and since my icing is mega thick, it takes me forever to smooth it, but I live for it, girl. I'm going to continue by flooding my cone and repeating the same process as before. Now, I did go ahead and do a second set of the exact same uh, cookie set that I have here. And I did have a thicker outline icing and a thinner flooding icing consistency. And I'll let you see the difference of both of the cookies at the end of the video. To add more dimension and kind of like a waffle-ish look, I am adding an outline to my cone and I will make a waffle pattern at the bottom. I already outlined my heart and I'm going to go ahead and flood it. As a side note, I think I did decorate this cookie one day after the cone cookie and my icing was thinner than the day before. For this heart, I did do a technique that I have never done before, so I'm actually going to attempt to speckle my heart with a little bit of gold while it's still wet. I took a tiny bit of gold dust, I diluted it with Everclear, and made a very runny gold mixture. Once my mixture was ready, I took the same brush, holding it with one hand and gently tapping the brush with my fingers. Well, not gently, but you get the point. And now to add our writing, I do have a love-hate relationship with writing because sometimes I'm really good at it, sometimes I'm really bad. Um, but here I am using a different way to write on cookies. I usually just take my icing and trace my letters, but my hand was super shaky this day. So I traced my letters with an edible marker first. I did find this to help me a lot because I am taking my sweet, sweet time tracing my letters here. And I did speed this up. This is actually a minute worth, but it, I did dilute it down to about 20 seconds. So I was much slower than this. For the chunky lettering, I'm just going to trace it with my icing, and for thicker letters, I don't cut the tip of my bag anymore, I just apply more pressure to the bag so the tip of the bag is as big as the tip that I used to trace the thinner letters. Um, I hope that makes sense. And I do hope that this walkthrough tutorial helps you, and don't forget that if you do have any questions, you can certainly leave them in the comments below. And here is a comparison of the first set that I did versus the second set where I used thick 
and thinner royal icing. Let me know if you noticed the difference and let me know what kind of icing consistency you like to use. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!